as the saying goes, not all heroes wear capes. And this is true for these heroes made at home who were featured in yesterday's Sunday Times. From holding a film screening online to recapturing the communal experience of cinema to developing a website to give hawker stalls a greater online presence, these five groups of heroes have responded to circuit breaker measures in creative ways that make our lives a tad better. We have one of the heroes joining us today, the lady behind the Get Well Card project, Madam Rahima Rahim. She started this project because she felt it was important to educate children about the social and economic impact of COVID-19 and hopes participants will be kinder and more grateful towards frontline workers. Uh, Madam, if you could start us, uh, you know, how did the idea to have the Get Well Card project start? We understand your initial plan was to get children to fold paper cranes, which symbolizes hope in the Japanese culture. Culture. Yeah, that was the initial um, idea, but sometimes things evolve. So um, I it, it, instead what I did was to create stickers of paper crane with the message of hope and healing and to get them delivered to the schools together with a uh, blank card as well as stickers so that they can create a uh, get well card. Hmm. Well, Madam Rahima, the goal of the project is to gather 1,000 cards and to achieve that goal, you had to reach out to as many schools and students as possible all over Singapore. So tell me about the process. How did you carry out the project? Well, it's very much like um, a sales job. Hmm. You write email, you try to entice the school to participate and believe um, in the goal of the project. Uh, some schools were very open and I remember Yo Chu Kang Primary School was the first to say like, okay, we'll do it, you know. And then we have Radin Mars and Woodgrove. Uh, and we have uh, Brasa Wat Tanjung, which I wanted to reach out to as many schools, as many diverse schools, including uh, um, this, those special schools. So Konesian was the one who, um, you know, Madam Christina was wonderful. She accepted the participation and she got the uh, students and the teachers involved in the project. So mm -hmm. it was very much uh, canvassing the schools, 20 of the schools were reached and seven schools responded. Um, yep, yeah. it was a lot of calling as well and trying to tell them that this is legit and mm -hmm. it's not something that I would like to take advantage of the school for the children. Yeah. And you're close uh, to your goal, about 950 cards now. So what's next after you manage to gather all uh, 1,000 cards? Are there plans to extend this project? Yeah, some of the parts that I collected were really beautiful. Some were mounted on uh, art boards and so on. So the, the whole idea is that these cards will go to hospitals, go to supermarkets, go to the uh, all the frontliners, you know, the uh, I hope some of the police stations will accept them and have them on on the walls or something. But the cut is um, we ex still accept the cuts from members of the public. Getwellcut.sg mm. is open. We re we welcome all submissions. I mean, it's the CV period right now. We have parents who can you know encourage their children to get involved. Mm. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Madam Rahima. Thank you for your time as well. And certainly these messages will definitely go a long way to lift uh, the mood of the frontline workers. Uh, that was Madam Rahima Rahim who started the Get Well Card project to educate children about the social impact of COVID-19 and dispel notions of racism.